Today I will use the metallic shimmer ink sprays to watercolor my images. Stay tuned! Hi there everyone! Welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. Today I will be using the new airbrush flowers stem and watercoloring with the metallic shimmer ink sprays. I have used this medium in the past several times before for watercoloring and if you search you'll find the videos for the projects. I already heat and wash my images onto a panel from the 9 by 12 watercolor pad by Altenew in pure white embossing powder. I'll first start by applying water to the image, making sure that I go outside the image. Now this part is up to you, you can use a paintbrush to apply water or spritz the whole thing. I do both things and don't have a preference. The reason I'm applying water outside the image is because I want my color to bleed outside the line so that I do not end up with white outlines. The main color I'll use today is Warm Sunshine Metallic Shimmer Ink Spray. Make sure to really shake the bottle well and then spray some of the pigment onto the watercolor palette. My first color layer is going to be light color wash. I'm going to completely cover the entire flower. Once this is done, I'll apply a more concentrated pigment close to the beginning of the petal where it's attached to the center, um, the base of uh, the flower petal that is. I'll then pull out this pigment with clean water. Sometimes when I want a darker petal, I'll just pull out the pigment as is and it automatically gets a little diffused as I move towards the tip of the petal. I will keep adding concentrated pigment and drying between the layers if I need to. The drying helps in developing layers as I am working with the same shade. You can make this easier and use darker shades too. I'll do that in a bit. I'll also add stippling and that creates a faux texture and dimension. It really makes the flower pop. You can do this with a darker shade too but I use the darker shades to add more depth. I also add stippling with the same shade and also with the darker shades. Here is a closer look at the image. Can you see the texture and shimmer? It looks absolutely beautiful in person. My second shade to go on here is Antique Gold. This is a slightly darker shade than Warm Sunshine, so the difference will be subtle. The major difference will happen after I add Caramel Toffee Metallic Shimmer Ink Spray. I will add this directly and then spread it outwards as stippling. Be sure to add very little of it, it is very very concentrated and it looks kind of bright orange. Doing this will create depth right away. So if you want to avoid spending too much time on this, I would suggest add the first layer of color wash, warm sunshine, add concentrated pigment next to the flower center, dry the layer, add stippling of warm sunshine, then add the caramel toffee pigment. Skip the gold, uh, anti gold uh, pigment altogether. But I added anti gold as a um, intermediate step between both the sh uh, shades of warm sunshine and caramel toffee. For the leaves, I will mix coffee break pigment from the artist's watercolor pan set and citrine from the 14 pen metallic watercolor pan set just to maintain the shimmery look. I don't have any brown metallic um, ink spray and I did not really look uh, at my supplies really well. Um, I just wanted to show you that you can mix your um, metallic watercolors with the regular pans uh, to get a metallic uh, watercolor. Again, I'll apply a color wash and then uh, add concentrated pigment. I won't overwork the leaves. They are going to hide behind the yellow flowers anyway. I will use the grid on the mat to arrange my flowers and then pick them up with press and seal. Next, I'll work on the card front. 
I'll use Morning Frost Dye Ink and with the help of a large blending brush apply this onto the panel. I'm using a off-white cream colored cardstock uh, for my card front that is why my Morning Frost Dye Ink will look a bit different than it, it's originally intended to. Then I'll add black paint splatters from the Sensual Watercolor 12 pan set. I'll adhere the images onto the panel with foam tape. Then I'll adhere the sentiment. To finish, I'll just pop this onto a card base, same cream colored card base, and adhere the gold sequins. These are the satin gold sequins from Altenew. And I'm done. I hope you liked my card and uh, will give uh, watercoloring with the metallic shimmer ink sprays a try. I love using them as watercolors. They are very pigmented and the result is super shimmery. Uh, it looks really cool. I'm sharing two more cards on the Altenew blog using the same stamp set. So please be sure to check them out. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye. Hello there. Did that video just spark your creativity? And do you want more project ideas and inspiration videos too? Well, if you do, please make sure that you subscribe to the Altenew YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you do click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.